Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Ash, and today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video of my time playing Oddworld Soulstorm Enhanced Edition on Xbox. Now this was recently released onto the Xbox platforms on the 30th of the 11th, 2021, after previously being a uh, PlayStation exclusive for consoles. Now it's published and developed by Oddworld Inhabitants and I was lucky enough to be provided a copy of the game to play for this video and I will be doing a full review video once I have finished the story but I'm still playing through it so right now it's more of a my first feelings after jumping back into an Oddworld game after years basically. So my last Oddworld game I used to love playing them on the PlayStation 1. I played uh, Abe's Odyssey and Abe's Exodus. Really loved them as a kid. Uh, played them loads. I was never really very good at them because I was young, but I really, really enjoyed them. And I really enjoyed like the art style and the, the gameplay style where you could obviously uh, manipulate people's minds and stuff like that and control them. Now, this game obviously follows on in the story, so I'll quickly read you through the description. So, Soulstorm combines intense action-adventure platformer gameplay with a twisted tale of a society on the brink of revolution, where your moment-to-moment -moment in game choices will impact its outcome, and there is more than one possible ending to experience. A revolution needs a leader, a leader needs followers. You will help guide Abe on his journey to save them all. Along the way, you may face nearly impossible odds in a massive 2.9D world, where death is the most likely outcome. Every moment is another choice between raining down brute force upon your oppressors or executing stealth maneuvers to avoid detections. You'll face off against a, a profiteering class armed with a sinister plan that threatens the very existence of the enslaved species, scavenge for ingredients, uh, to cook up powerful weaponry and arm your followers to help you in the fight. Keep in mind, the more you save, the better the outcome. If you have what it takes, you might even be able to unlock hidden playable levels. And you might have what it takes to lead a revolution and achieve leaderboard status. So yeah, this game has like leaderboards. It has sort of uh, progressing sort of goals as well in each of the levels. So not just here completing the levels, but like the sort of like search 500 collectibles items and do this so many times and do that which i kind of like that they sort of built up as you played and unlocked so i was really enjoying that i must admit now like i say the game looks absolutely fantastic i haven't honestly uh played the previous oddworld games apart from like say exodus and odyssey now so i don't know what happened in between with munch's odyssey or something like that and um the one with it which is the first person shoot game i will be going back and playing them because it has been too long but this has got me really back in the mood for it and yeah this version um obviously it's fixed a lot of the issues that the original game had so the original game when it first came out on the playstation it had sort of poor enemy ai um, some bugs that were blocked progressions and stuff like that and it kind of spoiled what was an actually really good story and an actually decent game so this enhanced edition it dramatically improves the gameplay mechanics and motion code it's got audio balance improvements seven additional months of polish have been added to it uh, it's got improved slig and follower ai so um, it makes them more intelligent and more responsive um, and it also includes all the previous released updates and brand new content. Now, I can't complain about this. I'm not super far into it. I'm only about an hour and a half, two hours in, but I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm just going to quickly jump ahead to the level on the screen, because otherwise you're not actually going to see the gameplay, which is uh, ironic. So, um, what happens is, it plays like an Abe game, I really enjoy it. it plays like all the old Oddworld games. It feels a lot faster, in my opinion. I don't know whether that's just me, but it seems a lot more responsive. Everything plays a lot quicker. Like being able to jump on the platforms is much less of a hassle. Like, I'm sure I remember when I was a kid and I was playing on uh, the PlayStation One, trying to get from one ledge to another was sometimes you'd end up just falling to your death without any reason. Do you know what I mean? You'd just fall off. Whereas the jumping, the the sort of grabbing the ledges and jumping along is vastly improved 
cannot complain about that. It looks great, it handles great, and had the secrets to find in each of the levels. But yeah, the first level, um, without spoiling anything, is you're basically having to escape. So where you are is being attacked by, obviously, the bad guys, and you've got to sort of make your escape. So it's a lot of running, sprinting, um, and trying not to be shot. And you, you learn, obviously, that the mechanics of you pick up water to put out fires. And then you also pick up, like, the, the juice. And if you throw that through a fire, it creates, like, a fireball, which will then, like, blow up, like, blockages or walls, etc. in your way. Which I thought was really cool. You've obviously got all of the, sort of, pots and vases you can uh, explore and search, which I thought was really nice. And the opening cutscenes um, leading up to this and after this level are really really cool really set the scene for the game uh abe is obviously sort of like um he's a he's, he's a leader but he doesn't feel like a leader he doesn't want to be a leader he's just abe but everyone looks up to him obviously he is like sort of the chosen one and I, I, it got me straight into the story it felt like i'd not been away from playing sort of uh odd world games and like i said i cannot wait to play more of it so like i say the first level takes you probably it depends how long you're messing around on it probably took me about 20 odd minutes just to get through the first level and that was probably me missing a few of the secrets and stuff but i was just trying to play through enjoying the story learning all the mechanics as i went you get the role etc on the first level you don't get any of the mind control sort of abilities or anything right off the bat they come slightly later on but um just showing you what's available on the the first level really really fun really glad to be back into it and like i say i'll be doing a full review once i get to the end of the story and i can give it the time and sort of the love it deserves obviously to um tell you guys exactly what i think of it but like i say keep an eye out on the channel there'll be a full review video coming shortly uh It'll be probably won't be till sort of mid December because um, we've got sort of a lot on with Christmas, but it is coming. Uh, the game is available right now. It's priced at thirty three forty nine on the Xbox. It works on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. It's got smart delivery, so depending on what console you're on, you get the best version for you. It's optimized for Series X and S with four K resolution as well, which is nice. But like I say, a full review will be coming soon. I just wanted to give my sort of early first impressions, and they're all really positive. I didn't really have any glitches. I didn't have any bugs. I didn't have any audio issues. So, so far, I am extremely happy. So keep an eye out with more videos on this game very, very soon. Bye for now.